Golden, I've always dreamed of scoring touchdowns, but more importantly, I want to celebrate them. Can you show me what it's like? I'm glad you asked, Jack. You know, in my college career, I scored a lot of touchdowns. Golden Tate takes it in for a touchdown. Golden Tate catches it for a touchdown. Get to the a point, line. get to the point. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ball, high and tight. Leg up, Dorsey flexed. And lastly, stiff arm the defender. Yeah, I did a lot of these in my time. Jack, where'd you go? Oh, what are you doing down there? I fell, I was doing a stiff arm. Oh, I forgot one step, the most important step. Be an athlete, dude. <sighs> Good morning and welcome back to Wake Up With Whistle presented by Wendy's Breakfast. I'm Jack Settleman and joining alongside me is none other than Mr. Showtime, it's Golden Tate. We've had an incredible college football season so far and I'm so ready to talk about it all. Golden, Ooh. are you ready? Oh baby, am I ready? What type of question is that? I can barely keep my flip-flops on the floor. Let's go, baby! Woo! You heard the man. Lace up those cleats, buckle that chin strap. Whoa, 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 whoa. We gotta have a handshake for this one, baby. It's All right. time. All right. Here we go. All right. Uh. Mm. And this one, here we go. One. Uh, uh. Woo! Let's go. Welcome to Jack's Morning Joe, hitting you with a strong dose of Jack early in the morning. Here's my hot takes on the biggest surprises and disappointments so far. My biggest surprises, we're starting with the new blood in the ACC. Clemson Tigers, more like Clemson Kitty Cats. Meow, meow, meow. What about those halftime shows from the bands? They've had creativity off the charts this year. Notre Dame's band's pretty spectacular. You spend a lot of time there, don't you? Yeah, I hop around. I'm not talking about them, but I am talking about college football's greatest tradition, storm in the field. We've seen it in Kentucky, we've seen it in College Station, and we've even seen it in Kansas. Kansas? What's going on in Kansas? They're beating football teams, apparently. Daniels. Flushed. Daniels, Enzo, caught! Kansas wins it! Now, my biggest disappointment. We're talking about the U, or better known as... The L. They've been terrible, but not as terrible as these fans throwing golf balls in Knoxville. They're throwing golf balls from the rocky top. <laughs> and nothing is more disappointing. Nothing makes me more sad than Coach O's excellence being pulled from LSU. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got a few more games here in Death Valley LSU. We're a great university. <laughs> but until I leave, I'm just going to say, hey, go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go, go oh, Tigers. Golden, this is my morning job. All right, fine, dude. <laughs> go Tigers. All right, fam. What better way to celebrate the glorious universe of college football than with a friendly debate? Fresh Roast is our segment where Golden and I verbally spar it out. Our first topic. What is the best available head coaching gig? I'm going with LSU. Sorry, Coach O, but we're talking about the SEC. We're talking about the best recruiting in the country, and not to mention you've got the whole state behind you. What could beat that? The USC job. I mean, you got the beach, you got Hollywood, and on top of that- Aren't we talking about a head coaching job? We're talking about the overall experience. YOLO. Let's move along. What is the best celebration you've seen after a big win? This is an easy one. Coastal Carolina in their wrestling skit. I mean, they had announcers, characters, and they even had a broken table to jump on. I mean, Bill's Mafia, they've got to be very impressed with this performance. That was amazing. But how could you beat Beast Mode whipping it on a golf cart? Marshawn Lynch's post-game Sally is still talked about 15 years later. Yeah. You can't top that. All I gotta say is a uh, click it or ticket. It was pretty incredible. For our final topic, what is the best name in college football? And my pick belongs to Storm Duck, cornerback, UNC. What could beat Storm Duck? That's easy. Cavassier. Cavassier Smoke, running back, Kentucky, the most interesting man in the world. Not bad, not bad. 
Tell us what you think. Who is the best name in all of college football? Everyone knows about that other trophy. On this show, we're all about shouting out the overlooked ballers who bring the sizzle to the sport. Here's our candidates for the Breakfast Baconator MVP. Golden, your first pick. I gotta go with the Georgia defense. There's 11 guys on that defense. Which one? All of them. All right, you went with the SEC. We're talking overlook, so I'm heading down to Liberty. Malik Willis, QB1, potentially number one pick. Shout out Malik Willis. Okay, since we're talking about the Whittle guy, I gotta go with Bailey Zappi over at West Kentucky. I mean, that's about an hour from where I grew up in Tennessee. I mean, that guy is zapping it around the field. He is zapping and zinging, but not like my guy Kenny Pickett up in Pittsburgh. The ACC has this fresh blood, and Kenny Pickett is leading the way in his fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. I don't know what season it is for this senior, but he is a vet, and he is leading Pittsburgh all the way. Let us know what you think. Who is your breakfast baconator MVP? <laughs> golden, Golden, rein it in. Rein it in a little, all right? All right, fine. Round one went to Team Jack, and Team Golden is now Team Penguin. You look good, man. Thank you. I guess you can be my brother, and I'll just call you Flipper Jack. <laughs> I'm so corny, I am so corny. All right, quick rules refresher. Answer a question correctly and make the target, you get three points. Do either of those and get the other one wrong, you get one point. You remember how to play? I do. You ready for round two? Are you ready for round two? I'm ready. All right. Ping on karate. Round number two, on the way. How many teams does a Big Ten conference have? 14. Correct. Ooh. What two teams' home field is also a venue for a New Year's Six bowl game? The Yankee Stadium? No. Miami oh, no. and UCLA. Great shot, buddy. How many teams does a Big 12 conference have? 10. Correct. Oh, really confident on that one, huh? What group of five school terminated their football program for two years before starting it up again in 2017? SMU. UAB Blazers. Ooh. How many schools has Lane Kiffin been the head coach at? Three? No, four. Wow. It's a journeyman. What rivalry was once called world's largest cocktail party? Georgia and Alabama. Close, but wrong. Florida and Georgia. Oh, oh no. The target's moving on Right, that. heard it all before. That was not a good round. Yeah, it was almost like you were throwing those with the penguin outfit on or something. <laughs> all right, Mr. Penguin, you ready? I sure am. First question, what program in college football is known as the U? Miami. That's correct. <clears throat> good start for the penguin. What is the slogan associated with the University of Texas? Uh, hook 'em horns. That's correct. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, here we go. What D1 school is not located in the continental United States? Hawaii? That's correct. Ooh. Oh man, Ooh. I'm getting Ooh. smoked. Ooh. Ooh. What two teams claim Death Valley as their home field? Um, is it LSU and Penn State? Mm. LSU and Clemson, come on, you know that. Yeah. What former coach is called the Mad Hatter because he was known for chewing on grass? He chewed on grass? Yeah, I didn't know that either. I don't know. Les Miles. Okay. He did not chew on ice burgers, though. <laughs> Final question. Name all the coaches that have won a championship at Notre Dame. All right, get those hands up. We got Rockney, Holtz, Devine, Parsegian, and Leahy. That's correct. Bam! And this thing. <clears throat> All right, I think it's time to get you in a mascot outfit. All right, let's go get dressed. What a season so far. It has checked all the boxes. 
We've seen a Cinderella story in the group of five. Check. We've seen powerhouses matching up in the SEC and the Big Ten. Check. We've even got new blood in the ACC. And check. But now it's time to ramp this thing up to a whole new level in rivalry week. Golden, are you okay? Jack, call a doctor. I got rivalry fever. <sighs> the heat is on. The stakes have never been higher. Make sure to follow along on Wake Up With Whistle, presented by Wendy's Breakfast.